Sorry. Welcome to the Know, I'm Mika. I'm Brian. If you have ever tried to take apart your console, you've probably seen those stickers that warn you that opening the console will void your warranty. A little bit too late, but you know. Those. Yeah. Yeah, it's like nobody likes those, but for years now, they've been a very visible warning from companies like Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo that you better not try to repair your console by yourself or even open it up or go through a third party. Otherwise, that nice shiny warranty goes bye-bye. Yeah, well, it turns out all those stickers you've been seeing, hella illegal. At least, Whoa. That, yeah, right? At least that's what the US government is claiming. And it's giving the three companies 30 days, 30, to get rid of those stickers uh -oh. or they could face legal action. Holy crap. Right, that's that's kind of a big deal. They're gonna throw them in jail? That'd be awesome. Just throw all of Nintendo in jail, there they go. <laughs> a building stick in jail. <laughs> yeah, this could be a big deal for gaming companies who historically, like we said, wanna control who cracks open their consoles and fixes them. Yeah but it looks like that control is coming to an end. It, it's part of a larger issue called the right to repair. This affects a lot of tech industries and gaming, it's definitely one of them. Okay, so here's a little background first. Last month, we reported that the US Federal Trade Commission had sent warning letters to six major companies who make products ranging from cars to phones to video game consoles. Yeah, and those warnings said that the void stickers may be considered deceptive and are prohibited by something called the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act. The FTC asked those companies to update their materials and practices to comply with that law within 30 days, or like we said, the cops get involved, yeah. I assume. Acting Director of the FTC's Bureau of Consumer Protection, Thomas B. Paul, said at the time, provisions that tie warranty coverage to the use of particular products or services harm both consumers who pay more for them, as well as these small businesses who offer competing products and services. So yeah, he's basically saying, you guys can't be the only ones who get to fix your products. That's not fair. You hear that, Genius Bar? Mm -hmm. That's not fair. <laughs> Recently, Motherboard got a hold of copies of the actual letters that said it was sent to the companies, which, like we said include the three big console makers, and the language in the letters is pretty damn serious. Yeah, the letter says it, quote, places you on notice that violations of the warranty and FTC acts may result in legal action, and it adds that the agency had reviewed warranty language on each of the manufacturer's websites and found them to be infringing. It goes on to say FTC investigators have copied and preserved the online pages in question, Ooh. and we plan to review your company's written warranty and promotional materials after 30 days. You should review the warranty and FTC acts, and if necessary, revise your practices to comply with the acts requirements. So pretty much they're like, we got your receipts, bitch. Yeah, we took screenshots of yeah. this. <laughs> You're in trouble. It also says that they reserve the right to quote, take law enforcement action and seek appropriate injunctive and monetary remedies against the company based on past or future violations. Yikes! Yeah, yeah the government's really not playing around nope. on this one. Mm -mm. Basically, they claim that the companies are violating a 1975 law, that's the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act, that says manufacturers cannot put repair restrictions on a device that it's offering a warranty on. Yeah, and the caveat is as long as it's $5 or more. Which is everything, Yeah, which much. is everything. Of course, companies do do this all the time, and console makers, they often say things like, your warranty is void if a third party does repairs on your console or if you open up your own machine. We've all seen it, like yeah. we're all familiar. Yeah, in PlayStation 4's case, the FTC specifically pointed to the sticker on the PS4 that if removed, voids the warranty, which is a legal language, according to the FTC. So all of y'all that had cockroaches in your PS4s, uh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. fine, apparently. They Get were just lying to out. you. It's worth pointing out, video game console makers, they're not the only ones who do this. The FTC also sent letters to HTC, which makes the Vive headset, and Hyundai, the automaker. Well, that's... That's a problem. Don't try to take apart your Hyundai. <laughs> this all gets to a larger issue that's known as right to repair, which is the idea that you should be able to have your stuff repaired by whoever you want, not just the original manufacturer, because, you know, Joe down the street could probably fix your Game Boy and you don't want to have to take it to Nintendo. Oh yeah, or like all those people who fix iPhone screens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Some states are considering legislation that would require console manufacturers to sell replacement parts and tools to independent companies and consumers at the same price that they're sold to authorized centers. Mm. That legislation that a lot of the states are considering would also require console makers to make diagnostic manuals public as well as software tools to fix the consoles. These are known as right to repair bills and we're seeing them in a total of 17 states including New York, Minnesota, Wyoming, Tennessee, Massachusetts, Nebraska, Illinois, and most recently California. 
A lot of it is centered around farmers who want to be able to fix their equipment, like, you know, tractors on their own. That makes sense. Like yeah. you're out in the field and your tractor breaks down. You don't have to take it to John Deere. You yeah. want to be able to fix it yourself. <laughs> yeah. But the bills would also affect consoles too. And needless to say, the gaming industry does not like this one bit. Because they like money. Yeah. <laughs> the Entertainment <laughs> Software Association, which represents game manufacturers and other trade groups, wrote one bill sponsor in Nebraska and said that it would threaten consumer safety and security and that it mandates the disclosure of protected proprietary information. Oh, that's probably it. Yeah. Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, we don't right. want you poking around. It's not just gaming companies that don't like it. Other tech companies like Apple, they've made similar arguments, basically that letting people fix their own devices will pose a security risk. I'll bet the proprietary information is, yeah, part of it too. Yeah, I feel like the security risk is the security for their more money that right. they want. <laughs> right. It doesn't seem like any of these bills has gone anywhere just yet, but this is definitely a movement that has gained momentum over the years. And this action recently by the FTC, it's a sign that the government's stepping in and warning companies that, hey, you're going too far and trying to dictate to consumers who can and can't fix their products. And as for the video game companies, they aren't commenting right now, and mm. it'll be interesting to see how they ultimately respond to these letters, but considering how big the U.S. market is to the video game industry, it's hard to imagine that they wouldn't play ball. Yeah, it's not clear what the FTC would do legally if a company told them to go get bent, <coughs> but that's probably a can of worms that, like, Nintendo or Sony or Microsoft, they don't want to open. I just, I really hope that the legal action is just throwing everybody in jail, just a giant jail dedicated to Sony. <laughs> With stickers all over the place. <laughs> what do you guys think of the FTC telling video game companies to get rid of those void if stickers let us know in the comments and for all your video game news be sure to like this video if you're new around here subscribe to the know acting director of the FTC's Bureau of Consumer Protection Thomas B Paul <laughs> you got to read that Popular title guy. again <laughs> Popular guy. wow yeah they really love that Thomas B Paul acting director of the FTC's Bureau of the Consumer <laughs> particularly saying you guys can't be the only one who get to fix your product